Okay, so here we have a very interesting game, and uh, here I can't pause this, but I'll be back. But let's just have a read. So this shows the major plates that you can find on the internet, and I think it's just interesting. So you can go up to this website and have a look. So let's see if, how many I get right. Okay. Okay, so you got to drag these plates. So African plate. Antarctic plate. There you go. Arabian plate. Australian plate. Caribbean. Plate. So it has to go yellow. Okay. Eurasian plate. Don't, can't remember. No. Indian plate. Cocos. That one is there. Is that correct? Okay. North American plate. Can't remember where that one is. Pacific. Filipino. Okay, South American. So the last three, okay, last three of these ones. Okay, NASCAR is off Peru, so it's probably that one. Okay, Scotia, Scotia. Is that one? Oh yeah, so that's the uh, Sandwich Islands or whatever. Coco's plate has to be this one. Obviously, yeah. Okay, map area of flash and identify the target boundaries, the locations. We have one minute to name all six boundaries. Yeah, and only one chance to get the answer right. Click on the okay, so that one is a divergent boundary, that's a convergent boundary. Let's see. Transform boundary. It's a divergent. That is a convergent. Okay, that one is. I think it's a convergent. Ah, uh, sorry, see? Had to get one incorrect. Okay, this is probably divergent. Okay, oh, 22. Next chapter. Okay, slip, slide, and collide. Blah, 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 Philippines, I need for quake. Yeah, yeah. Himalayan ground, Torvia. Many of the most dramatic geologic phenomena in the observe. Yep. Okay, so here we have convergent plate boundary. This is a volcano, earthquakes caused by tectonics. This looks like a lava fountain, probably Hawaii. Obviously, tsunami, probably. Another earthquake. That looks like a probably Icelandic type volcano. So, okay, so here we have a nice convergent plate boundary so this plate is uh being subducted underneath this plate so we have magma upwelling we have the asthenosphere so the lithosphere then we have the continental crust so this includes the continental crust and the upper mantle and the volcano and obviously there's melting here so that would help with uh, water, lowering the mountain temperature, and it's increased, causing uh, the actual mountain building. So here we have the trench. So this sort of back arc basin will be here, fore arc will be here. And, okay, so here we have an island arc. So this, would not be uh, being reduced. This one will be. 
So the continental crust will not get too close to the actual subducting trench. More information. Yeah, so here we have another one underneath a continent. So this would be the Himalayas. Okay. It's a good example. So we do have magma upwelling, so obviously there's no volcanic activity because the continental crust has been shoved up as well as down. So it's negating the effects of magma. So the magma doesn't have a chance to actually penetrate the crust and erupt on the surface because there's just too much continental crust to go through. Yeah, looks nice. The process began after break of Pangea. Is India is slammed into Asia 40 to 50 million years ago. It was in modern day Tibet, crushing and folding the plates. Yep. Okay, so that's interesting. Then we have yeah, divergent spreading plates. Okay. So magma, magma, continental crust. Okay, uplifts and drifting and pushing it aside. Magma has been filled up here. Then we have beat start and separates. Magma is filled up in here and pushed to the side. Hmm. And you probably get pillow lavas because that's a lake. Okay, here we transform. So this is transform. So this is divergent plate boundary and transform. So divergent plate boundaries are also transform. So it's two types. Well, yeah, this is quite interesting. I recommend anyone who's new to this actually get into this. Hmm. Okay, interplate challenge. Plate interaction challenge. This is a two part challenge. First, you must figure out what plate movements and geological events are occurring at three real world locations. Then you will need to correctly identify a geological term. Okay. Yep. Okay, so this is a. Okay, what do I have to do? On one section of the African plate which stretches across the, so this is a divergent plate boundary and this is actually splitting in half. This region of Africa is offering to, to the valley, yeah. Okay, you got some lakes. Among the many active dormant extinct volcanoes in the region, it tends to Kilimanjaro. What is happening at the plate boundary? Where the African plate and Arabian plate meet. So here, we're going to spread in the part, yeah. So here, we're talking about here, this is the Red Sea, it's been split apart, and this is a whole rift zone. So you can see there's lakes there, and this has been ripped apart. Okay, what is the geological event? It's most likely to occur at this plate in the future. So a mountain range won't form. So a plate will cause volcanoes to erupt. No. Lakes and valleys will deepen and widen, eventually causing the plate. Yeah. Okay, slippage of plates will result in large scale quakes and range. Yeah. No. This one. So this would eventually break off. Become another con uh, island, probably too small to be a continent, and Africa will be reduced in size. Okay, the Australian plate, the Pacific Eight plate, New Zealand, get the facts, okay. So we have mountain range, volcanoes. Four large earthquakes, the major undergrader, is spread to mountain range. Southern Alps and runs along the entire length of the island. 
Okay, what is happening at the plate boundary where the plates? Plates are pushing towards each other. Is that true? Ah, oh, no, that's wrong. Should be transform. Okay, yeah, my mistake. Uh, what geological event is most likely to occur at its plate in the future? Yeah, this one. Yeah, earthquake will occur. Okay. South American plate. Nesca plate South America along the edge of South America. Get the facts in case you decide what's happening. And this entire western border is dominated by Andes, which is 7,500 kilometers. Okay, peaks, peaks, peaks. Cocopaxi in Ecuador, which last erupted in 1904. Chile and Peru have been sites of some of the 20th century's last earthquakes. What is happening at the plate boundary where Nazca plate and South American plate meet? Uh, pushing towards each other. What geological event most likely occur at this plate in the future? A chain of volcanic islands will form off South American coasts. But Nazca plate is here, isn't it? Part of South America continent will break off. New crust will be formed. Eruptions will occur. Volcano here. Yeah, I reckon a volcano. Yeah. So obviously, I failed on New Zealand to transform plate boundary because uh, I'm enough enough. Okay. Unscramble what? Oh, I don't like reading. Okay. They form. Jumble word. Type the correct unscramble word in the black space and I oh, come off it. I they formed from the collision Indian landmass and Asian continent. Hmm. That will be Is that right? Yeah. Okay. A deep valley that formed when the oceanic plate colonized. Mm. Yeah, okay. Lightning round. PA zone of frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions in the Pacific. Mm. Ring of fire. No. Okay. It is formed under the ocean where plates are spreading apart. Mid ocean ridge. Lake. Oh, yeah. Okay, test my skills. I don't have any skills. Okay, I think New Zealand has to be. No. Okay, what is the Earth's only liquid layer? Uh, uh, oh, I can't remember this. Help to call. Uh, what is the border between two tectonic plates called? What kind of plate is found at the meeting point? Asia and Pacific plates. Convergent. What leads to creation of island arcs? Hmm. 
This animation depicts which of the following? Not information. Oh, subduction zone. Information can result from when which of the following occurs. Okay, two continental plates. Mountain formation can result which are. So it can be two oceanic plates, a volcanic can uh, cause mountain buildings. So it's either A or B. I'm just going to go B. Which of the Earth's, which is the Earth's outer layer? Cross, or unless they call it lithosphere. Of the following geological thing can occur a transform boundary. What is happening to the oh. to the yeah, this one, Fuka, a North American plate. Okay. One plate pulled under. Which of these layers is found directly above the Earth's wall? Mantle, I'm not too sure what that means. When did the Himalayan ranges begin to form? Well, I said this one 30 40 million years. Why is not likely to happen at a divergent plate boundary? Divergent, okay, there will be a valley, yes, there will be a rift valley. Fleet sea full spreading, yes. Volcano formations, well, volcano, the actual that is the volcano, so mountain formation. Uh, when did the supercontinent Pangaea start to break up? Was that 100 million years ago? Can't remember. Mid oceanic ridges are plates where tectonic plates are doing what? Spreading apart. Because they've got divergent plate boundaries. Which animation depicts which? Oh, the animation depicts which of the following? Rift formation. That's what it means. Which of these statements is correct? Continental crust is thicker than oceanic crust. Yes. Continental crust is no. Oceanic crust is thicker than continental crust. No. Uh, continental and oceanic crust. No. no. What type of crust is found under the oceans? What? Oceanic crust. It's basalt, mostly. Yeah, got that one. California San Andreas fault is identified as one of the following blind thrust faults, dip slip fault, normal fault, strike slip. No, it's strike. So you can't remember everything. So you just stick to your part of the world. And see how you go. Approximately 225 million years ago, the Earth's continents were grouped into one landmass. What is the landmass called? Okay, not Europa, Jurassic period. Well, it has to be Pangaea. What is the name of the tech, this tectonic plate? Uh, it's a South American. What kind of plate boundary runs across Iceland? Ooh, this is easy. Now it's divergent. What's well, a Nordic boundary? Hmm. The tectonic plate floats on which semi liquid layer? Well, maybe it's the asphenosphere. Lithosphere is the hard upper crust. What type of crust is found under the continents? Well, continent, geologic crust, yeah. Maybe bread crust. Which of these concepts is part of the theory of plate tectonics? No, they're not continents, not 
fixed, I don't, not fixed. A great flood shaped the earth's surface. Yeah, snowball earth. Continents in slow, constant motion. Yes, that's the whole point of the fear hypothesis. What is the name of this tectonic plate? Uh, it's the Pacific. What is the name of this tectonic plate? Uh, African. Uh, what kind of boundary is found where North American Caribbean plates meet? I think that's the transform. Okay, which scientists credible postulating the idea developed plate tectonics? Oh, no, not Charles Darwin. He was revolutionary biologist. One science physicist, Isaac Newton. Has to be this guy, is he any? I think he's a physicist as well. So this guy. Okay, this solid layer of the Earth is made mostly of iron and nickel. So it'll be in the core. Oh. Okay, I only got one wrong. See your results. Okay, so which one did I get wrong? Okay, okay. So Pangea started to break up 200 million years ago. That should be in the Permian. View chapter 3, plate tectonics. Okay, split the landmass, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this website is actually quite good. So, uh, introduction, the Earth. I think it's as solid as a rock. So, I will put a link down below. And if you're just starting out in uh, geology, even if you're advanced and you just forget some stuff, just uh, go onto this site and test yourself. Anyway, thank you very much. And uh, this doesn't even tell me how long I've been on the actual site. So I don't even know how long this video is. Okay. Hooroo.